In this video, I'm gonna show you how to give your iPad a proper cleanup. We'll clear out storage, tidy up apps and files, and get everything running smoothly again. Whether your iPad's feeling slow or you're running out of space or things just feel a little bit cluttered, this video will help. These tips will work on most iPads from the last five or six years, as long as you're running iPad OS 13 or later. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is check what's taking up the space on your iPad. So to do this, we just wanna go down to settings. Mine's right here. And then once you're in settings, you wanna to go to general and then over to iPad storage. So in here, you'll be able to see what's taking up all the space on your iPad. So you can see I have a lot of space on mine. Um, I don't store a whole lot on here. Under the red, we have applications. So most of my storage is taken up by applications. So you can see down here are all my applications and we can actually sort this by size. So if you click on this, um, yours might be on name or something like that. Swap it over to size and it's gonna put your biggest application up the top. So VLC is my biggest application and that's because it's got some videos saved into it. So you wanna just scroll through here and Go through the apps and delete anything you don't want. So let's say I don't want this Minecraft education. I would click on it here. And you have two options. You can offload the app or you can delete the app. Now, if you offload the app, it's going to remove the app from your iPad, but it's gonna keep all of the data from the app still on your iPad. So if you're just trying to clean up a little bit of space and you haven't really used the app in a long time, but you might want to use it again, you could offload. But if you don't want the app at all and you're not worried about any of the data files or anything, you can just go delete app and we'll go delete. Once that's done, keep going through this list and delete any apps that you don't want. We can go show all, and this will bring them all up. The next thing you can look at is the other things that are taking up space. So you might also, for you, have photos or videos up here. Because I store all of my photos and videos in the iCloud on my iPad, I don't have any of that taking up space. But for a lot of people, I think you will have photos and videos taking up space as well. So come in here, check what's taking up the space, and then do a cleanup. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at is media. If you use streaming platforms like Netflix, Prime, YouTube, YouTube Kids, Disney, anything like that, depending on what plan you have, you may have the option to download videos to your device. And you can see here how much space it can take up. So if you click onto Netflix, you can see all the videos I've downloaded and how much space each one's taking. So it's a total of 4.2 gigabytes and then if I come over to prime it's almost 10 gig let that load and you can see all of the things I have downloaded and then in YouTube you can't actually see the videos you've downloaded but you can see that it's taking up a lot of space so if you don't have much space left on your iPad this is a good thing to go through because some of these services also do automatic downloads it's called like smart downloads and they will just pick videos that it thinks you're interested in and automatically download it so when you're offline you have things to watch so this can fill up your device now to clean this up I'll just show you with Netflix so you just want to go to your Netflix app and then go into your profile and then you will see a little download icon up here click on that and then you can come in and see all of the shows you have. You can either click the edit here and go through and delete them. Go through and delete everything you don't need to make some more space. So, so now I've cleaned up all of the videos out of Netflix. And so you can see now it's disappeared from up here because there's not much stuff left in there. It's a really good idea to check all of your streaming platforms to make sure they haven't downloaded too much stuff to your iPad that you don't need. Like it's perfect for if you're traveling and you want to be able to watch your stuff without Wi-Fi. But if you're just at home, you probably don't need to have all this stuff downloaded to your device all the time. So the next thing we're gonna do is tidy up files on the file app. So my file app's right here, but if you don't know where yours is, you can just scroll across to the app library and write file in here, and then it will bring it up. We're gonna open the files app, 
And so in here you can see we have our storage locations. So everything saved to the iCloud Drive will sync across all of your Apple devices like your iPhone, uh, your Mac if you have one and your iPad. So it's not actually taking up space on your iPad. So you don't really need to worry about that, but we will get to the iCloud Drive in just a minute. But the one we wanna look at now is on my iPad. So this is everything saved on your iPad. So you can see here, I have a whole bunch of system files. So when you install an app, the app will install a system file and that's where it will install all of that information for that app. So you can't actually do anything with this, like you can't delete it or anything like that. So you just sort of have to ignore it, which is a little bit annoying because I just find it really messy just sitting there. Um, but you want to scroll through here and clean up any files you don't want. So you can see again, I don't really have much on here but these two files are files that I have on here. So I can either move them somewhere else or delete them. So to delete them, you can just click and hold and then hit delete and that will get rid of it off of my iPad. And so once you've gone through on my iPad and cleaned up all the files that you don't need, then you can come down to downloads. And so this will be stuff that you have downloaded from websites and stuff like that. And you need to come in here and organize all of that because you'll find there'll be heaps of random things that you don't need in there. And again, you can just click on it and then hit delete and it will get rid of it for you. If you do have a lot of things in here and you need to keep them, but you need to make space on your iPad, you can actually get an external hard drive. So I have this one here or an SSD and you can actually plug these into your iPad and transfer the files from your iPad onto an external drive. So I've actually got a video coming out next week on how to do that. So make sure you subscribe and um, I will walk you through all the steps on how to do that. But we'll just keep going for this video, otherwise it's gonna be too long. So go through your On My iPad, clean up all the files, then go to downloads, clean up all the files in there that you don't need. And it's also good to come in here and get organized. So if you are storing a lot of things in here, I would suggest coming up here and creating folders. So if you hit this one here, we can make a folder called documents. And then you can click and drag all your documents into there just to keep things a bit more organized. So making folders in here is a really great way to stay organized. Otherwise it can just become a lot with so many different files and stuff in here. And you can also click up here and change the view and change how things are sorting. So for me, I use column view, but there's also list view if you prefer that. And then you can click up here and go back to like my iPad or just hit the back button to go to the previous section. And then you also have icons. So I prefer to have it on columns. And then you can also sort by date or name or anything like that. And if you need to select multiple things, you just hit select and then you can go through and tick everything you wanna delete. But obviously we can't delete these things because they are the system files. So we will untick them and go done. So yeah, that's pretty much the files app. If you can't see this section on your files app, you actually just need to come across and hit this button here and this will open that sidebar menu up. So sometimes when you open it up, it'll look like this, but you just need to press that and that'll bring up all these file locations. And you also, once you have deleted everything that you want from this area, you can come into recently deleted and delete it from there. I think this does delete after maybe like 30 days or something like that. But if you need to make some space fast and your iPad's like really full, I would come in here and delete things from the recently deleted as well. All right, now we're just gonna take a quick look at the iCloud storage backup settings. If you're on the free five gig plan, which I think a lot of people are, 
it fills up really quickly. So it's a good idea to check what's being backed up and turn off anything that you don't really need. You just wanna make sure that the most important stuff is backed up like your photos, messages, and notes. There's no point using up that limited space on apps that you barely use or things that you don't really need to be backed up like games or apps that are synced elsewhere. If you just wanna simplify things and make sure everything is backed up properly, upgrading your iCloud plan is probably the easiest way to do it. I use the 50 gig plan myself and it's just a couple of dollars a month, but I totally get it if you don't want to pay for another subscription. That's where backing up your photos and files to an external hard drive regularly can also be a great option. So to check what's being backed up, so you just wanna go into settings, iCloud, and then on this screen, you wanna scroll down to iCloud backups and you can see all my devices being backed up, but we wanna check my iPad Pro. So go through this list and make sure you turn off everything that doesn't really need to be backed up. So if you're still finding that your iPad is full after deleting apps and removing files from your iPad, the next thing you can do is remove cache files from Safari. So I use Arc Browser as my internet web browser, but most people probably use Safari. So to clean your cache files out of Safari, you just wanna to go to settings and scroll down to apps. And then we wanna find Safari in here. You can see it right here. Click on that. And then if we scroll down, you can see here, clear history and website data. So if we click on this, you can choose whether you wanna remove all history or just today and yesterday. But if you really need to make some space on your iPad, you wanna go all history and then clear history. So by doing this, you'll be signed out of websites and stuff like that, but your passwords won't be deleted. They should be saved in iCloud Keychain. So whenever you've tapped save your password when logging into a website, that saves it to your iCloud Keychain. So all of your passwords should still be there. So when you go back to that website in Safari, it should just pop up with the keychain and then you can connect it again. And all of your bookmarks and reading lists should be safe too. So that's not a problem. It's just your browsing history. So by doing that, it's just gonna clean up a little bit more space on your iPad. All right, so now we have cleaned up our storage. We've made a bit more space on our iPad. We've deleted any apps that we don't use anymore and we've organized our files. The next thing we're gonna do is organize apps and declutter our home screen a bit. When you have a nicely organized iPad, it's just gonna be so much more enjoyable for you to use. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get rid of all of the apps and widgets off of here, and we're gonna redo it and we're just gonna simplify things so it's just the main apps that we use, so it's not a big cluttered mess. So the first thing we wanna do is get rid of everything off of the screen. So to do that, you can just hold on to the widgets or apps and click remove and remove. We'll swipe across and there's heaps of apps here. Okay, so now I've deleted everything off my home screen. You can also delete things from down here and then re-add things, but I already like everything that I have here because these are my most used apps. So, okay, so now we've removed everything. The first thing I wanna add is a few widgets. I really like widgets. So to add a widget, you just wanna press and hold on your screen, come up here to edit, and then we wanna go add widget. Now in here, you'll find so many different widgets for different things and you can actually just go through this list and see what apps have widgets. But the ones I like are my calendar. You also have a few different options of the look of the widget. So you can just have a small one with just today's event. You can go through and pick what you like. This is the one I like, so I'm gonna go add widget. Okay, so now I have my calendar widget and let's go and add a few more. So we'll go edit, add widget. I also like to have the status of my Bluetooth accessories. So my Apple Pencil, my AirPods, and I think it also brings up my watch battery. So we can click that one. So this one will put apps in here that are sort of like your most used apps or your recently used apps, which is really handy. So I really like to have this widget. You really just need to think about things that you use the most and then add them in here. Okay, so now we've selected the widgets we want. We need to go and add in the apps that we mostly use. So you need to remember that if you just swipe across, you have your app library right here. 
with all of your apps and it's really simple just to swipe across and you can use the search it's in alphabetical um, or you can just type the app that you want in there super quick and easy so I feel like you don't need to have heaps of apps here just the main apps that you use every day so for me I use YouTube so you can click and hold and then drag it across I want my notes click and hold and then drag it over and then we'll go back Okay, so now I have added all the apps that I want. I have my widgets and everything's looking nice and clean. And now I only have one page on my home screen, which just makes it neater. And then I can scroll straight across and search for anything in my app library. It just makes it a whole lot simpler. Okay, so the last thing you might wanna do to freshen up your iPad is just change the wallpaper. To do this, you just wanna go to settings and then in settings, you wanna scroll down to wallpaper. And in here, you can customize the wallpaper for the lock screen, which is still just loading. So you can customize it for your lock screen and for your home page. So to do this, we're just gonna go add new wallpaper. So for wallpapers, you have heaps of options. You can go onto the internet and find a nice picture and download it to your Apple Photos. And then you can come in here, click on that and select the photo that you want as your wallpaper. Or you can come through and choose any of these ones that Apple have available. There's heaps of really nice ones in here. So I'm just going to show you, I'll pick my wallpaper. And so once you've selected the wallpaper you like, you have a few options. You can come in and change your clock style. So if you click on it, you can change the font of your clock. You can change the thickness, the color. If you leave it on this first one, it sort of matches in with your wallpaper. If you wanna have any widgets on your home screen, you can come in here and you can add the dates the battery percentage of my Apple Pencil. Um, so yeah, you can go through all of the widgets and add whatever you need in there. Yeah, and so then once you're done, you just hit add. So we'll just go set as a pair and then that adds your wallpaper in. And if you ever wanna go back, you can go back and click customize and go back in and change anything in here. But yeah, once you're happy with your wallpaper, you're all good to go. So that's pretty much it. Whether you followed along or plan to do this later, I hope this video gave you a good place to start and your iPad now feels lighter and easier to use. If this video did help you out, it'd be great if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want more tips for iPads and other Apple devices. And keep an eye out for my video next week because I'm gonna show you the full step-by-step -step guide on how to transfer files from your iPad to an external drive. So make sure you don't miss out on that video. And if the video is already out, I'll just link it in the description below. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video.